today we're gonna to be looking at an acoustic version of Southern Man, Neil Young from After the Gold Rush, continuing the summer of Neil. I did Cripple Creek Ferry and Tell Me Why recently. I will link my Neil Young playlist at the end of this video. We're gonna be looking at a Carnegie Hall version Neil did acoustically of this tune from 2014. It's available here on YouTube, check it out. And if you're interested in learning the electric version of Southern Man, I highly recommend you check out Kelly Dean Allen guitar. Kelly Dean Allen's version of Southern Man and the lesson that accompanies it is fantastic. And he is one of the best, most underappreciated players and teachers here on YouTube. Please subscribe to his channel and also watch his cover of Like a Hurricane, best Neil Young solo cover I have ever seen. Just absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so Neil Young plays this with the D minor shape here. You'll see people playing it in A minor, but he's definitely here. And it's because you want to be able to get those hammer-ons and pull-offs on the first string from the E, F, G, F, E, and then back down to the D note on the second string, third fret. Those are notes out of your D minor scale, and that's what he's playing around with. We talked about in Cripple Creek Ferry and other lessons how Neil has this emphatic right hand technique where he's, he's kind of starting by thumping either once or twice, and he does both in the Carnegie Hall performance. So if you're doing two thumps, it's like D note, muted, a lot of palm muting, so thump, thump, strum, or thump, thump, strum with the hammer on. If you thump once, when he thumps once, then there's a little hesitation before you strum this chord, so it's sort of like, so thump, pause, strum, so, so that would be with two, that would be with one. And we'll look at some variations of those riffs in a minute, but let's look at the rest of the chords. He goes to a B flat, and Neil never plays this note. He doesn't play the root note on the fifth string, which I think is really funny. Um, we're just looking at an A chord, right? Moved up one fret to make it B flat. But really, he just lays his ring finger over four, three, two most of the time, and then come up here for the G minor, which is the thir third chord in the main progression. And then at the end of it, you pick up the A note on the first string, right? You go from G to A, five, three to five on the first string. And I'd recommend playing it like that down up. So, The other thing he does is he plays the B flat like this. Again, just your A chord moved up a fret. The first time around, he'll play it like I just did. The second time. Something like that. So fourth string F note, kind of muted, thump. So that's four, three, one, two, three, four, three, one, two, three. That's what I'm hearing. But basically he's just diddling around on that very cool sounding B flat triad with the E note added open on top. Neil likes to do a lot with that first string ringing out as we'll hear in just a minute. So that's sort of the intro. Now, the song starts like Cripple Creek Ferry with what we would call the chorus. And if you'll excuse my singing, it would be something like Southern Man, better keep your head. And that's 
F major seven, one of Neil Young's favorite chords. It's just an F chord with your first string, E string open, like we just talked about. Neil hardly ever plays the full bar chord version of an E or an F chord, as you'll see again in a second. And then the third chord in the curve, so keep your head is a B flat, and in the Carnegie Hall version, he comes up and plays it as, again, the E or F shape, but not as a full bar, just first four strings. You can play it here, you can play it like this, but this is what he does. And then to G, good book says, Flat up here if you want. Now your cross is a good fast southern man. So let's look at a couple of the variations on the first string. These are from the album version, the electric version. One time he goes. So that's the same hammer on the first string from E to F, but then G, F, G, F, D. So that's another one is... So basically, or and as I said earlier, almost anything you do with D, E, F, G is going to be cool. And at Carnegie Hall, he's being Neil, right? He's being rough and ragged and chaotic and loose and sloppy. All right, so the the verse would be just the D minor, B flat, G minor. So, I saw cotton, I saw black, covered mansions and little shacks. And then at the end, it's, I heard screaming, he's just hanging on an A chord. Bullwhip's cracking, how long, how long, and then he does some yelling that I won't do. And then if you want to try to punctuate the end of that screaming, he does that, not acoustically, he doesn't do this, but, but electrically he does that, that unison bend of the D and then bending the C on the 13th fret up to the D in the, on the 15th fret, which is hard to do on an acoustic and probably sounds pretty ugly, but, but if you did it kind of quickly, it's a cool punctuation and then you punctuate it with the D minor chord there at the fifth fret, right? That's just your A minor shape. And incidentally, in the Carnegie Hall version, he sometimes plays his D minor up here instead of here, and it's again so he can he can riff off that open first string going from open E to the A note on the fifth fret. He loves playing around with that open first string, so again, the punctuation part would be that, and then On the acoustic or on the electric version, he bends again the C note to a D, just the same way this is, and that would be twice. Second time he doesn't do the bend here, he just launches into the solo, but you could launch right into Lily Bell, your hair is the second verse, right? Golden Brown. See a black man coming around. See a 
That was a rough and very Neil Young sloppy like version of Southern Man Acoustic, but play around with that. It's a really fun one, and I think a lot of people don't realize that it can be a great fun tune while it's around, whether it's around the campfire or playing by yourself and just practicing some singing a la Neil Young. All right, hope that was fun for you. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.